Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use grids in Canva. So if you go to Canva and you're creating a design, you want to go to the Elements section and then type in Grid. And these are the grids right here. And they're just basically a frame for you to drag an image into, uh, and they work really great. And there's a lot of different ways you can lay out the grids, and I'll show you some examples. So this is the one that I use the most. It's the main grid. And if we go over here to photos and we say, let's just do web design. So we can drag this image and it will auto populate into the grid. And then we can crop it if we double click on the image and uh, able to do lots of different things. Once it's in the grid, we can resize that grid to whatever we want. And so if we didn't like that image, we can just drag a different one in and over and over and over again. So this case, this is a really great tool if you want to be able to just have an image fit a certain space that you've already determined and you can switch it out to whatever image you want. Um, another example is if we have a layout that we like, like let's say we want this one and we want to do a photo, uh, a collage of our pets. So we have dogs, we have dogs and cats, and we have another dog and cat. So really quickly, we can get a nice layout and we can just do that by dragging over a few images into our grids. We can also affect the spacing on the grids. So if we want the, the images to be closer together, if we want them to be spread out, we can do that as well. And then a lot of the different elements in Canva already do use grids. So I'm going to go back to this and just show an example of this mood board. These right here are grid images. So if I found a different image that I wanted to drag over, let's say of our pets, if I just drag it over, it'll fit that pre-designed space. So really quickly, we can have our pet collage here and by dragging those images in. So those are just some examples of the ways you can use grids. I think they are a really great tool inside of Canva because you can get the predefined space really quickly. One other thing too, is if you want a grid that's shaped, that's not just a square, if you go back to the elements section and type in frame, that's where you'll get a shaped grid. So let's say you want it to be a circle and it's a headshot, then you could have it be in a circle. And let's just do this business casual and so that'll fit our predetermined frame and if we wanted to have a couple of these we would just duplicate them and we could have other other things fit that frame and again if you want to crop it you just double click it if it's not exactly where you want it and you can change it up. So, so just really quickly, you can have a nice, nice design by using grids or frames. Frames are the, the shaped grids and allow you to get a different look if you want something other than just a nice, a nice square. So anyways, I hope that helps. I hope that you'll start using grids in your Canva designs that can really make things faster and more efficient. And I'll see you in the next video.